Andrew Hill, the that Goblin Slayer, has led his party into the Shattered <laughs> Sanctum. A large portion of the Goblin War Camp was destroyed, and right now, they need to find not only Vola, but Halston too. Oh, and we've got to assassinate their three leaders. As a vengeance paladin, his goal is to, of course, destroy a sworn enemy. How he does so, well, that's up to him. Now, let's go have a conversation. They believe that Edrahil is a true soul, a self sword. It's not true, but they don't need to know that. Let's move forward. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work! State your business. Now! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. We don't need the worm, <laughs> no. You don't need to know about my business. Move. We'll use intimidation. A DC of 15. We'll add our bonuses, friends, and guidance too. So we've got advantage. We should be good to go, I hope. There it is, 18. We made it. Beautiful. We easily passed for a total of 24. All right, all right. Normally we stick you foreign types in the spider pit. But the Absolute says we're all making nice now. So in you go, I suppose. Who's in charge around here? Well now, gonna have to be more specific than that. We're drowning in true souls, here we are. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? Now we know their names. I want to see Priestess Gut. Do you now? Might feel different once she puts a burning brand to ya. She's through the main doors. Just follow the smell of burnt goblin arse. <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright, we'll move on now. We'll visit her first, I believe. After getting Volo. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. No kidding, Shadowheart. You don't have to tell me twice. Good. I wasn't intending to. She's always a lot of fun, you know. We'll take a ride. We're gonna go room by room until we explore every single nook and cranny. Maybe not that nook and cranny. We'll go a little bit further and... There she is. True soul gut. We'll go over there later. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with the brand right now. Wait, someone's being tortured, which means he might have information about where Halston is at. Let's go have a conversation real quick. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. A very astute observation, Shadowheart. It's a good idea. Now, I could use deception or performance. I've got options here. I'm taking over. Your sloppy handiwork is going to kill the prisoner too quickly. There it is. We'll add our bonuses. Well, we'll add friends. We got guidance. 24. We made it. What? Think you could do better? <laughs> Go on then. I'm at it. Sure. No. I don't put on shows for amateurs. Leave. What? You shy or something? Fine. Muck it up. And the trowel of your head. Come on, Crush. There might still be a slurp of ale to be had. Yeah, I enjoy yourself. Weird priest next door. A weird priest. Sounded huh? like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah. He's beating, beating something up. Good. All right, we'll but talk to the Liam. Then we'll get him out of here. But we need to have a conversation before we let him go. He might just run. We don't want that, I think. Please, let me out. There's no reason for this. I came for the night song. Where is it? 
somewhere underneath the temple. There's a hidden passage. B Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they, they said they'd eat him. Please, please, these shackles. I, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. One more question. What happened to the druid? Halsin, I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. Yeah, sure. Relax, I'm not gonna leave you here. Th thank you. Th thank you so much. Be patient, I'll be back. Please, hurry. I don't need a key. I'll break it down. I've got the power, you know. We'll use our Everburn blade. Let's do that. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Yeah, good idea. So what does a night song do exactly? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. Easy enough. What did the goblins want with you? The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. Yeah, sure, go on. All right, he's gonna get out of here. One person saved. See, we're doing a lot of good right now. We're helping so many. Let's have a look around. So we need to move to another room right over here. Wait, hold on. He jumped away. Another passageway. We'll investigate in a bit, I think. Well, that's really good to know about. We've got three decent weapons to use. I'll go back to my Sword of Justice and we'll move Don't on right now. Step. There should be some strange priest close by. Yeah, right over here. Abderak. He's also injured too. Let's go talk to him real quick. Why not? What a strange guy. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? You mean the one they are torturing? Please. The things they do to that man. So crude and primitive. I was invited to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Based on what he just said, I do agree. Just to be in pain for no reason? That's strange. People can struggle, people can endure pain if there's a purpose. Now, who invited you? A goblin? Yes, he's just over there. Between you and I, his claims of mastery over pain are unfounded. Pain should be intimate and loving, not violent and brutish. Alas, he... Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. What a fascinating individual. We have no reason to really kill him. And uh, clever man, how did you know? Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder 
You bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. No, we could do that, but we'll continue to have a conversation. Why are you so interested? Well, the Maiden of Pain, Loviata, teaches us that pain is a most powerful and sacred sensation. And should our pain delight her, should we embrace such a gift, she will grant her most sacred of blessings. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. Hold on now, Shadowheart. No, we're not going to go that far. I really have no issues with his chosen lifestyle. He wants my consent here for a little good old-fashioned beating, but that isn't for Edrahill. No, we're going to leave now. I thought you would prove interesting. I guess I was mistaken. Sure, you were. I could have threatened him, but let him go do whatever he wants to. As for the two goblins over here, Come eventually on! I'll you get them. You could do better than that! Yeah, he's a lawful evil follower. He follows his own goddess, and let him do whatever he wants, really. So now, we just need to move over to another room. There's Volo. What a strange fellow. Now we need to go save Volo. My feet can carry me. It's right over here. The crazy guy coming in here. But he's fun, I suppose. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Is he? Does your bird have a name? Um, Peach. Okay. So I see. Do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Your pet is actually a rather famous writer. Him? Nah. That's incredible. I hate to see such a lovely creature in a cage. No, that wouldn't be Edrahill. I was admiring him. I would like one of my own. Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Well, you know by now. I won't be doing that. I'm done talking. Open the cage or you'll be sorry. Let's roll. Friends, guidance again. A DC of only 10. Let's make it. 12. A little over 10, but we did make it nonetheless. All right, all right. Calm down. I don't want no trouble. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Well, thank you. All right, Volo. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I believe you. Now get yourself to safety and quick. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> we mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Yeah, absolutely now. A fine mess you landed yourself in. How did you get caught? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. Yeah, that's fair. Let's see. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! You have your drink. Get out of here. Alright, there goes Volo. That feels really good. We got him. He's a strange guy, but he's a lot of fun. So now we could go talk to Gud. We could continue to look for Halson. 
we've got a lot of options over here, but gut might be option number one for right now. I'll have to really think about it. There's a letter over here. Let's check it out real quick. Then we'll move on. I must be brief as I am under some duress. Ah, oh, written to Elminster. <laughs> Alright, Volo. Move on right now. I'm just here to gain information. I'm not going to read every single letter that we pick up or we'll be here all day. I'll try to quickly scan through it and find any real pertinent it smells information. Like burnt flesh in here. Yeah, there's guts. Nobody's gonna but push us let's scout anymore. things out. I always do that. I always do that. Well, at least when I can. Wait, Zentrum are here. That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. I mean, that should be obvious, I believe. What business does someone like you have in a goblin camp? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mind. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Wait, hold on. Smoke powder? We need to pick that up. That doesn't need to be here. It's very dangerous. And here's a paladin response. I knew the Zint were heartless, but the goblin slave trade? Really? Oh, dry your eyes, Ilmater. It's me or a goblin cookpot. I know which I'd choose. Now, much obliged for the chat, but I'm here to trade. Yeah, sure, maybe in just a moment. So right now, they're guarding a room. Nearby, we've got a smoke powder barrel. That's what I want. Maybe eventually we'll come over here to find a way inside. There's bound... Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Fire wine, smoke powder, there's a lot of it. If I could find my way in here, that would be really, really good. So far, and thankfully, we haven't had to use too many resources. We'll go talk to Priestess Gut. We could fight her here, but then we would need to fight all of her many guards. That wouldn't be an issue. But I wouldn't want the entire area hostile to us. We still have more to find out, so we'll talk to her and hopefully be able to isolate her. Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. No, I don't think so. No touching. I'm not letting you burn me for life on a whim. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. I don't like that. Time for a dial tone. I'll sever the connection. Your minds brush against one another. But are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Can we talk privately? It's a very sensitive matter. Of course. Don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. Oi. Yeah, we'll follow her. We like want us. Why do they think they're talking Aren't to a god? Good enough for the oh, you know why. We've got strange voices and visions. I mean, we've got all the hallmarks of someone. Oh, there's Lazelle. Yeah, true. And here's a prisoner. You followed Maglub yet. I can't wait to free him. Maybe he'll do some good here. He doesn't follow the Absolute, so they don't like him. He's not really that powerful, but he might have some information. Now there's Gut. We just need to go inside and talk to her. Shouldn't it be too challenging, I think. What a nice room you have here. Large and spacious. Oh, come here. I ain't waiting around. Oh, here's a crack in the wall. And some scaffolding, too. So we could easily access all the smoke powder and fire wine barrels. We're going to take that home. I'll do it later, but 
I am going to get in there. They don't need that. I need that. I'll put it to better use. Let's talk to Gut now. Ready to clear your head. Sure. What exactly are you going to do? Whatever the Absolute tells me to. Don't worry. She loves you. I can tell. All right. I'm ready. Don't want to crowd the gorpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Well, that's very rude. They're my friends. I don't want that. Let's just wait over here. Carlac, hey, I think you know what to do. Lizelle, you too. Time for an... Wait, hold on. Before you do anything. I got you a blooded great axe from that one merchant we just met. Relentless Revenge. When the wielder has 50% hit points or less, they deal an additional 1 to 4 slashing damage. That's pretty good. I like that. But now... Time to attack. Let's go. Pick to fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. No, they're not. And we need to win right away. I would like another attack if you don't mind. She hits like a truck. Look at that. A critical hit. And now she's done, finally. No, we're not going to attack Lazel. We just want to go over to Lazel. Lazel, you don't really need to do anything special. No. Attack. It's over. And the horde is weaker for it. And if I need to, I could hide her body, but I doubt anyone would get in here. We've got, let's see, the Absolute's Warboard. If the wielder bears the Absolute's brand, they gain a plus one bonus to saving throws. We've got what else? The Absolute's Talisman. If the wearer bears the Absolute's brand, they have advantage on death saving throws, and they also gain aid, a level 2 abjuration spell. Not to mention another Mind Flayer Parasite specimen. You've got a lot. I'll take it all. What about any other loot? Any potions over here? Yeah, there might be. So, we could move on to other parts of, well, where we're at right now, or we could move inside to a new area. I'm not going to do that just yet, because right now, my goal is to find Halson, so we're going to try to. Let's just move around. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. Let me close the door. Wow, the priestess. How great. She was able to help me so much. That's what I'll tell everyone here. They'll believe me. So we're going to head over here to the other side, past where Bola was being held at. Now there's one patroller. It's not like on their own they're very powerful. I'm not worried about that. It's all together, and also I like investigating. It's a lot of fun for me. I might be able to gain some new insights, get I'll more intel. You. The scrying eye was looking Ooh, at me all strange. Scrying eye. Right. What would some drow wizard in Moonrise want to look at you for? Drow wizard, huh? Certainly you won't be, cause he a beautiful eyes. Good to know. What do they need to be looking at any of us for? Is what no, I'm saying. True. We're I could talk side. to that rat. Well, you know what? I've not done that. Let's try it out. Foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. Dear God. Never mind, I'm leaving. That was a bit grim. Jeez. We're now in the ward pens, where we should be able to easily rescue Halson. Now, Karlak has a lot of pocket crates and barrels. I like to use them a lot. If you want to, you could even use it as a hunting platform. Get your ranged attacker to jump on top of them, then they'll have advantage. But for now, we're going to use it to block the goblins in. It's a one-way passage out of here, and it looks like only one goblin would be able to get away, but they'll probably come to attack us. That would be Warrior Plague over to our left. The other room to our right appears to be empty. But now, let's move down. We just need to jump over and scout out our current situation. So we've got a beast master and what else? A butcher goblin called Brack at 27 HP. To a cell over here, we've got two wargs and a rattling cell grade. Oh, that's going to come down. Two goblin children, a brawler burka, and it looks like I could shoot that lever. If I do that, Halson would come charging out. But let's have a conversation instead. Action. Right now, I want Lazel over here, but before we do anything, we need to actually way. close up the pathway here. Yeah, there's one barrel. 
Here's another one right over here. Perfect. Now, Shadowheart is going to follow Edrahill. Blazel, I want her over here by these two goblins. Karlak too. That should do it. And again, Shadowheart, you'll join Edrahill. I think it's a really good idea. These boots have seen everything. I just want to really yell at these two kids. They're throwing stones at that poor bear. See? It squealed! <laughs> it's it again! Keep your hands steady, three. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! What the hells are you doing? We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. No, I won't do that. We'll use Paladin and Intimidation. Release the bear immediately or face my wrath. DC of only 10. We've got friends for advantage. Guidance for a 1d4 bonus. We'll make it. We'll be okay. 25. Alright, alright. If you're gonna throw a tantrum about it, never seen someone so worked up over a stupid animal. But, but I wanna hear it squeal. We'll be the ones squealing if we piss off the bear hugger. Hope you can control the furry bastard. Oh sure, I can. Not a problem. We'll just wait here for right now. Good. Now they die. Agreed. Attack the goblins. Time for blood. Enjoy the petting zoo, kids. Well, that puts me in a good mood. So we've got Beastmaster Zerk and over here Brawler Burka who get to move first. Actually, quite a few get to move first. That's okay, though. We're gonna be all right. So right now, Karlak, I just want you to strike in melee. That'll be simple, I think. Go over here. Seven damage. Attack again. Eight damage. Not quite sufficient, but that's okay. Over to Lazel. Lazel, you'll attack too. 14 damage. There goes a Beastmaster. Now for the Butcher. We've also, because we're a Polearm Master, we have Polearm Clout. 4 to 7 damage as a bonus attack. We'll use it. 7 damage. Now, I would like to maybe frighten that target. Yeah, so we'll use a Menacing Attack. We want them to be frightened. Let's see, cannot move. Frightened entities also have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. Well, that's really, really good. And that's why we're going to use it. We did miss, but thankfully because we did miss, it didn't use one of our superiority die. That's fine. Action surge. Now we get to act again. And we'll try again. 16 damage. That's a lot. A standard attack. 8 damage. 2 goblins dead. Alright, we'll move over here. The wargs have got to die too. Let's end our turn. Burka hits, what, the cave bear for 5 damage? Warrior Plague the tried God. to dash. Yes, One goblin child trying to get away, but they can't. They're trapped here. <laughs> Three and one. I wonder why that's their name. Let's see. Fur, one of the wargs, attacks that rattling cell grate. Only eight HP left. There goes, what's your name? Tell. Also hitting the gate. Only five HP. All right. Now, Edrahil. You'll go after Burka. Yeah, do that. A standard attack. A miss, unfortunately, but you've got your extra attack, so do it again. 15 damage. Another dead goblin. Whoa, that child tried to hit me. Back up, kid. Oh, I can't move close enough. You're lucky. We'll just wait here. Hold on. Turn that way and turn. Yeah. Shadowheart, what are you going to do? I think you'll move over here real quick. I'm not gonna touch the kids. I wouldn't do that, not me. So we'll get Shadowheart to dash way over here. Perfect. 
We're not going to use any spells. We're just going to save her for the future. And we can't act because we dashed. Our turn is over. There is Halson. Killing one of the goblin children. One is dead. All right. We'll just move on over. Don't mind Good. us. Karlak, I'm going to have you use a throwing weapon. You've got your returning pike. This weapon will return to its owner when thrown. Very nice. The pathway is interrupted, unfortunately. So we can't do that. I was hoping that we could. We could instead use your heavy crossbow. That'll work out. More damage. Not a lot, but it adds up. Another shot. Alright, you didn't hit fur that time. Lazelle's gonna move over here. It's all gonna shoot. We're gonna have a fun time just shooting at a bunch of wargs. Alright, Lazelle uses her bow. Eight damage. We shoot again. A miss. A lot of misses today. Alright, Warrior Plague can't move again. Three can't get away. Like I said before, how tragic. Alright, that cell great. Only two HP left. The warg tell will probably take it down. Which I like. I wanted to because I want to move in melee and actually kill these wargs. Well, it didn't try. Alright, Edrahill. You'll also move over here. Ooh, a firewind barrel. I'll take that home. We always want to bring those home. Actually, let's see. I could have you jump pretty far. All the way over here. Yeah, do that. I'll probably have Edrahill go after that one goblin. Yeah, that warrior plague. Alright, Shadowheart, take a shot. Eight damage. Another shot. Oh, you're going to miss. I don't want you to use a Guided Strike, which is a very good reaction ability for War Clerics. I love it. But we don't want to waste it right now. I don't like spamming short rests or long rests. I use them whenever I'm just fully spent. And Halson killed three. They're gone now. Well, kids, you've learned your lesson, I think, forever. Karlak, attack. All right, one war gone. And over here, we'll go after the other one. We don't need to be fair. 13 damage, jeez. All right, Lazelle, take your shots. A miss. Nine damage. I still do wonder, would a Vengeance Paladin, whose sworn enemy are, of course, goblins, would he kill goblin children? I don't believe it would break his oath. I mean, it's still a goblin. All right, let's pick up now. We climb on, we'll do that. We'll go down. And we can't quite reach Plague, but that's okay. We'll just post up over here. Or we'll just, you know, whoa, hold on, I almost hit. We'll just jump really, really close. Yeah, there. So now they can't get through. They're blocked. Oh, you're lucky. I've only got my crossbows. That's right. I'm dual wielding. I love it. Eight damage. Not bad. We'll end her turn. Shadow Heart, you'll take your shots now. Go on. Nope. Don't use any type of ability. That would be a waste here. Two misses, unfortunately. Our turn is over. Allison is dashing. Has nowhere to move to. Lazel? No, sorry, Karlak. You'll shoot too, but we've got a series of misses. We finally got Tell. Alright. So it. everyone's gonna move back way over here. Swift and lethal. We don't really need no too much aid. Waste. No, we're fine. We'll end our turn. Again. Where your plague goes after Edrahill, but misses. Now it's our turn. Time to attack. 13 damage. It's over. All right. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature, or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I believe you. I was kind of hoping that Edrahill would talk to him first. All right. 
I've been to Emerald Grove. It's in danger. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayers spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I don't know. Now hold on, I wonder... Could I get Edrahil over here? Like I wanted to do in the very beginning. Yeah, I would very much rather talk to Halston like that, but it looks like we won't be able to do that. Oh well, let's go back to Lazo. Let's see. You know what? I escaped from an Illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, the way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Huh, interesting. Tell me what you've learned about the tadpoles' origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Sure. You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Oh, I like him. All right, how do I help? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Well, we took care of gut, so don't worry about that. All right. Having a shape-shifting bear druid at my side might make things easier. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. You know what? Come with me. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. I would rather sneak around, but hey, he's here. Though I wish you wouldn't be in bear form. So now, we just need to clean up, pick up a few more of our barrels. Then we'll get out of here. Oh, interesting. Let's see, you're following Lazelle. I could keep her back if we ever need to sneak around. That's true. Those ringleaders still draw breath. We must end them. I do agree, but thankfully we're able to get him to wait here. I was wondering about that. That way we could continue to move around this area unabated, but we'll get him eventually. Just not yet. Do not delay. I know. And the goblins are none the wiser. Now for Lazelle, she's got some new boots. We picked it up from that Beastmaster. 
Yeah, they're over here called line breaker boots. Adrenaline rush once per turn. When you dash, you gain wrath for two turns, which is where I believe you get an extra point of damage in melee. I'm just and in a barrel right by that Beastmaster, I found Again. a Beastmaster's chain the providing for Shadowheart over here, food. animal friendship. So now I think we'll go after whoever's over here. Right, Minthara, that drow, whatever. We'll go get her. We're going to climb up that ladder, but before I do that, I would like to kill every single goblin here. We just need that sharp eye to move over. All right, let's come over here real quick. They're not really looking at us. Time to attack. 24. Your actions have given this guard the perfect excuse to eviscerate you. Any last words? Yeah, sure. Prepare to die. All right. Did we aggro anyone else? We did not. That's really good. That's what I wanted. So now, Karlak, throw your pike way over here. Kill that other sharp eye. She took him out. Wow, 20 damage. Then, I want you to do it again. It's just way too fun. Got a high chance to hit, too. The goblins are all dead. If I want to, I could clean up the blood here. Or even block a pathway. That way, no other goblins could come over here. But, I'm not going to do that. I'll take your arrow. I'll get the rest later on. Yeah, that felt good. I didn't want to leave them over here. We could also bring Halson out here if we wanted to. At least, there. Now, let's scout a bit. There she is. Alright, we'll go talk to her in just a moment. I could use my crate trick to block off a pathway over here. That could be really good. Wait, what are these two goblins doing? Oh no. I don't think I'll be able to stop them. Let's try to talk to him and intimidate him. Another outsider come to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Get down oh no, and stop I couldn't stop him. <laughs> well, is he alive or? No, he's very much dead. We'll get revenge. Oh, we're going to get revenge all right. Which means again... We're going to entertain our trick. I'm just going to place crates over here, block anyone else from coming in. Then we'll be ready to kill Menthara. I just don't want to, of course, anger the entire camp, the entire area. All that preparation probably wasn't needed, but that's okay. We're going to turn on Great Weapon Master. So our attack rolls take a minus five penalty, but damage increases by 10. I like that. We'll use Bless to help counteract that issue. Plus up to three creatures, they gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Yeah, I like some redundancy in my planning just to play it safe. I mean, if you get time to plan an attack, you might as well take it. So we've got what? Two goblin bosses, one scrying eye, and one paladin. Let's go beat her now. But first, I need my information. I want my information, in fact. Your scouting party has not returned. And half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul in such a grotesque form. The Absolute has a place in her heart even for Dathir. Her heart is more generous than mine. Join my hunt, fairy, and obey me. Oh, now I've got to kill her. Alright, we'll have a brief conversation. A hunt 
Who's the target? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks, it's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. The cultists cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. The thief, whimpering in our dungeon, tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Now... I could lure her over to the grove. I don't want to do that. Edrahil wouldn't want to put them in danger. We could lie to her right now, or kill her. Yeah, I like that idea. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. Okay, sure. I'm gonna leave now. All right, Shadowheart. Bless our group. Bless Edrahil, yourself, and Lazel. We've got over here on Edrahill, our great weapon master. Now it's time to attack. We're gonna use over here Divine Smite. I feel like we should. Look at that damage. Fight. And now you have one. 15 and 21 damage. Ooh. Then a follow-up attack. She's dead already. That was awesome. Completely wiped out. Alright. Lazel, it's your turn. Yeah, use a melee attack. You've got extra reach. Rozak, that's our target. The other boss, I don't know where he's at. Ah, oh, back there. Okay, gotcha. Attack again. You missed. 12. And let's see. I've got my polearm clout. It's also over here on the right. Nine damage. Also dead. Dear God, we are crushing it today. Now this is All my right. happy place. Carlac. You know what I want her to do. I want her to throw again. Go after Scrub. Returning Pike is so good. All right, 12 left. 12 HP left. We'll do it again for fun. Higher chance to hit. He's dead. All right. I've got no other options right now. I wish I did. Let's move over Count here. I don't know what that eye is able to do, so I don't want to group up. Now, Shadowheart, you're not going to use any spells. Use your bow. One damage. Oh, beautiful. All right. Moving. We'll move over here real quick. I could throw something, but nah. Shoot again. Four damage. A little bit better, I suppose. No choice but to Back keep over going. to Edrahill. Time to press ahead. All right, you're pretty far. I could attack, sure. I can't jump over there. I'm just going to use my hand crossbows. Dead. It's over. More's the pity. My blood had just started to boil. Oh, really now? All right. Let's pick up what we need, which is all of it, really. I'll come back for the rest later on. Benthara, you've got Boots of Striding. Focus stride. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum for one turn. Plus one to athletics. While you are concentrating, you can't get knocked prone or be moved against your will. That's pretty interesting. For armor, she's got spider silk armor. Let's see. 12 armor class. Plus one bonus to stealth checks. Advantage on constitution saving throw checks. Maybe I'll give it to Asterion. Ooh, okay. And a mace. I do like maces. All right, five to 10 damage. Once per short rest, you can encase a target in fairy fire for two turns if you miss an attack against it. I like that. Hmm. Oh, and of course, we've got her clothing too. I'll give it to someone. It all belongs to me. 
What's over here? The water sparkers. Ooh. When the wearer stands in water during combat, it becomes electrified. If the wearer starts their turn on that surface, they gain three lightning charges. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, we could try that. Oh, wait, hold on. A war map. Let's read it real quick. Elegant pen strokes trace out a map of the local area. The goblin's den is indelibly marked in greenish ink. All right. What else do we have over here? A scroll of blur. That also belongs to me. You know what? We'll take that. I know I'm over encumbered, but I can finally walk. That's all I want to do. What are we going to send away? I've got a lot of options over here. I mean, look at what I'm carrying. It's a lot. So what I'll do for now, I'll just take that barrel and send it away. I mean, it weighs just really way too much for me to carry that while also trying to loot. All right. We've got a potion of healing, another scroll, a crystalline lens. Interesting. I don't know what that's about. All right, I'll come back for the rest later on, but let's pick that up. Huh. A new recipe. Cool. Scrut, what do you have? Oh, one gold piece and a bone. Of course. All right, I'm going to pick up my crates over here. Then we've got one more leader to kill. It's a big old locked door. I wonder. I'm not going to lock pick. Do I need to talk to someone to get in? No, there's an open door over here. Oh, right. What about that one goblin that's been captured? Let's go say hello. Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. I like his moxie. You know, if he wasn't a goblin, he would make a great companion. How did you land yourself in that cage? Because I'm loyal to McLubbyet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. I assume you mean the absolute. Yeah. My old tribe's fallen for this shite, traitorous bastards. The great absolute brings us together. Drow and gnolls and goblins all braiding one another's hair. It's a load of shite. I believe you. You don't like your people mixing with outsiders. Talking to you, ain't I? I just don't believe in all this togetherness and chumminess. Ain't natural. It won't last. They'll be tearing into each other soon enough. Sodom all. I'll wait it out in air, praying to a real god. Interesting, okay. Well, I'm not gonna push it. I'm not here to free him. I wonder if I could shoot that chain or something there. <laughs> that would be funny, just to let him go. Alright. Let's take a quick peek over here. Oh. Traps here. Okay, good to know. Three more goblins. Jeez. There's just so much. But we don't need to go in there right now. We just need to get ready for that major attack. There's so many ladders around too. Yeah, we could easily get a high vantage point, which maybe I'll send, let's see, Carlac and Lazel up there. I'll think about it. Whoa, humans. Novices of the absolute. Good for them. Yeah, I think we might do that just a scot around. A nice little ladder over here. So now we're going to move again. What we'll do, we'll just jump over. We'll take our time. Then we'll sneak a bit too. Let's jump again. We'll want them to sneak. Let's see. Do we have another ladder around here? We should somewhere. I do sneak one over if you don't mind. Yeah, there's one. Right over here. We're gonna play it safe, position ourselves right behind them. Largely because initiative doesn't really work in the favor of Shadowheart or, of course, Edrahill. So while we're having a conversation, we'll get these two to attack from behind. Then they should be done for. Ooh, here's a great area. Yeah, we'll just wait over here real quick. 
But for now, let's go pick up a bit of information if we can. It shouldn't be too difficult. We'll just walk in and say, ah, hello. Breathe deep and move. There he is. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Shugan and Shukuk. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul, he doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. I don't really want to, nor should we. He's not going to offer me a lot of information. We could attack him right now. We could do that. It wouldn't be impossible. But I like to use my paladin responses. What profane ceremony is going on? Guess you're a thick one, so I'll tell it straight. We're gonna make the carcass talk. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. I don't think I will, but... For one step, I'll let you proceed, because I want to see your disappointed face when it doesn't work out. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ok, Alcohol Dek, Shulko The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. The creature from the wreckage. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Yeah, we could allow the hobgoblin to speak freely, but we're not going to do that. I think it's about time to attack. Well, not here, but somewhere else. It's going to have to be Carlac. Lazelle's in a perfect position, so we're going to have her throw her weapon. Throwing is a mainstay of her build now. She's using the Tavern Brawler feet and catch for it. Enjoy a javelin. So the battle begins. He's got what? 50 out of 75 HP. They've been surprised, so they've got to skip around too. Now Lazelle, use a menacing attack from afar. Make him frightened if you can. She shoots. 15 damage, and he's scared too. Next, we'll just shoot him again for fun. Lazelle hit him for 10 damage. She's got a cantrip to use too, that lash ability. So My we'll get her to move down true. real quick. All right, she's going after Warlock Bolt. She missed, but that's okay. She did a lot already. Now, back over to Karlak. Oh, you want to throw again? So be it. Drawer? Easy as. Catch that javelin. He didn't catch it. What a shame. Three HP left. Okay, she's going to move down now. Tactical. After that, Shadowheart, you could attack. Instead, use Spirit Guardians. And Edrahil, maybe I'll no, get you to mind. move back a little bit. Perfect. Can't afford to stay All right, idle. Spirit Guardians, call forth spirits to protect you. Nearby enemies take 3 to 24 radiant or necrotic damage. I like it. Let's make it radiant for fun. Now she's going to attack, let's see. Kagrin, who's close by, he's very weak. Very nice work. Wait, she's not in combat yet. Go after Narvis. Still not in combat. All right, now we'll go after Devout Cry. Ooh, we missed. 
We'll use a guided strike. Plus 10 bonus to our attack roll. Done. Now she's in combat. Okay, they didn't care about the non goblins. I gotcha. Lazelle, you're done. I am death. Garlic, you're done as well. Still and Edrahill, you're in combat. I was hoping you wouldn't be, but that's okay. Let's end our turns. We're done for now. They get to do nothing and like it. Edrahill, you can't quite attack. Let's see, drawer. Yeah, I moved you a bit too far away, but that's all right. We'll jump close by. Right over here. All right. Now, a standard swing attack. 15 damage. Drawer is dead. Edriel has gained a point of inspiration. Very, very nice. All right. Let's use our hand crossbows. Attack whoever you want. Six damage. Nice work. Bring out your blade again. Lazelle also has a point of inspiration. You'll do nothing and like it. So we've got more warriors moving in, like Warrior Clack. He's dashing in. 10 damage from the Spirit Guardians of Shadowheart. Another archer tries to hit Shadowheart, but fails. Let's see. Clack, who charged in, took a further bit of damage and is now dead. So Shadowheart, you could just move over here and kill a lot. Go after Booyag. Oh, yeah. Two have been hit. The Booyag is dead. Let's move closer. Bolt took a bit of damage too. Six damage. Now she's going to end her turn. Okay, Lazelle. You can move over here. Use your cantrip. Do it now. Alright, four damage on that warlock. Next, we'll move into melee range just to move down here. Ooh, we can't quite make it. There's many ways I could. But I think for right now, I'm just going to move down a little bit. We'll use a ranged attack. Not a problem. Go after Bolt. Ten damage. He's dead. We'll go after Huck. Only 8 HP. Ooh, he's dead too. 11 damage. Alright, we'll end our turn. Back over to Karlak. She'll move by Shadowheart and Lazelle. Use your returning pike. Kill Sharp Eye Rue. You did. Another throwing attack. Can you do that? Ooh, your pathway is interrupted. Unfortunate. If you can move a little bit more, maybe you'll make it now. I doubt it, but who knows? Ah, we can't get that one goblin. That's okay. We'll just end our turn for right now. Edger Hill, you can't make it either. Could you jump over? You can. All right. He's charging now. He's jumping and landing right by Sharp Eye Zammy. Zammy's right by the gate, and Zammy's dead. So we have one goblin left. There's bound to be more who might join in, but for now, it's Warrior Bez. All right. I can't attack anyone else. Not right now. I wish I could. Could I actually hit you? No, I can't do that. I'm not in your line of sight. So bring out your blade, Edra Hill. We'll end our turn. Shadowheart, you'll move over here. You won't use a spell. Just use your ranged ability. All right, a miss. Unfortunate, but it happens. We can't attack again, so we'll end our turn. Yeah, we're done for right now. Lazelle, you'll also move waste. over here. We're just going to take our time. We're just here to hunt a bit. All right, Bez was hit for nine damage. Lazelle attacks again with her bow. Misses, but it happens. All right, now that you're Let's done, go. Parlac, you'll move here too. She's going to have a much higher chance to hit. Got it. 90%. All right. Our enemies are dead. We've got more goblins on the way. They're dashing in. Let's see. A warrior and a brawler. That's fine. Edger Hill and Lazel both gained a point of inspiration. We killed every single leader over here for the goblin. The and right now, Edger Hill, I want you to attack. Here we go go after that brawler. Ooh, 24 damage. We can't get into melee range, but we can use a ranged attack. Go after Druck. Seven damage. You're not able to act again, but that's okay. Victory now, Lizelle, wins. if you could jump into range, that would be nice. Ooh, not great. Not great. Interest. 
I don't think she'll be able to do it. So, Shadowheart, what about you? Could you move into range? No. You can't do it either. Alright, that's fine. I'm just going to have you, I suppose, dash. Yeah, move over here real quick. Melee weapon. Harlack. I mean, if you could hit that creature from way over there, that would be great. But your pathway is interrupted. Could you jump onto that bridge from here? If you could, that would be awesome. That would be so cool. But you can't. But you're able to jump over Watch here. You. Oh, man. Yeah, she's able to jump so far away. Perfect. Another throw attack using her pike. Everyone's dead. At least over here for right now. So we've taken out every single oh, goblin man. leader. They're Just all gone. It could have. Spirit guardians. Man, that was powerful. Wanted the easy path. All right. Time for a bit of looting. Let's pick up two javelins. Those belong to, of course, Karlak. Speak with dead for a scroll. We'll take that too. Drawer, what do you have? You've got a faith breaker. Let's see, a hammer. Not bad. You've also got a mind flayer parasite specimen and a key too. There's gonna be so much more loot for us to pick up. Let's move over here. That key is bound to be for that one iron gate behind the entire room. Look at all of that treasure. Well earned too. All right, what do we have over here? 520 gold. We've got some precious gems too. Amulet of Salune's Chosen, a new necklace. What does it do though? One to eight healing. Hey, that's pretty good. But you could possibly fall asleep for two turns. Eh, not a problem. We'll use it out of combat if we're able to. Here's some Infernal Iron for Karlak. We've got Gloves of the Growling Underdog. Underdog's Bravery. The wearer gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. Oh, we're giving that to Edrahill. Plus one strength saving throw. Some new boots too. Spring Step Boots. When the wearer dashes or takes a similar action during combat, they gain momentum for three turns. Momentum being where, let's see, spurred on by a sense of urgency, the affected target's movement speed has increased by 5 feet per remaining duration of that effect. Nice, okay. Good for mobility. We've got it. Oh, that feels really good. We could rest up now, but I feel like we've got a lot to spare. We've got a lot of juice in our engine. We could go get Halson. Yeah, that would be like a fifth party member, and that could be really, really good. And of course, I'm going to have to come over here to loot every single goblin. It's a lot of money. I'll put their loot into a crate, send it back to camp, and be so much better for it. Paul Sin is going to be very happy about what we've done here. Moving around is going to be a bit more challenging just because every goblin is going to want to kill us. Though, if they know that we've killed their leader, why aren't they coming over here? They're Don't probably just yourself. cowards, I suppose. Turn oh, here's a goblin. It's a very easy way to find out if you have an enemy in a room. Sneak around. All right. Use your throwing weapon right now, Lazel. Right over here. One, two. Come on, Zerga. Please die immediately. If not, I'll throw again. Oh, I don't need to. Okay. I was trying to play it safe. All dead now. So, we'll climb over here. Make it to Halston. Have a conversation with him. Bring him back through. We might need to find a few more goblins. I suppose we could go into that room right by Gut's chamber. Yeah, we'll do that. Halston's going to be so happy about what we've done here. Hopefully we'll be able to recruit him. Having a druid on our side would be a lot of fun, I think. All right, let's chat now. Nature's blessings. Are you ready to do what is necessary? I'm not only ready, but I'm done. All the leaders are dead. The grove is safe. You did it. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. No kidding. I've done my part. Now tell me about Moonrise. Let's get out of this pit, firstly. Return to the Grove. I'll make my own way there. 
I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Sure, and I could teleport back there, but that feels a bit too gamey. It feels bad. I think instead, I would like to go fight through. Let's kill every goblin on our way out. That'll feel a lot better for Edrahill, I think. There's a lot of goblins over here that we need to kill. I could sneak out, but well, well. that isn't for me. Wait, who's moving over here? Abderak. Does he want to fight us? I mean, he has no reason to do so, so I doubt it. Right now, Lazelle, you'll move over here. Karlak, you'll wait where you're at. Edrahill, move down a little bit. And Shadowheart, join him. Okay, Karlak, throw your weapon. You've got your returning pike. Go after Grease. He's a warlock, a dead warlock. Attack again. Let's see. Did you get your pike back? You didn't get your pike back. That's okay. What I'll do, Edrahill, you'll give a javelin over to Karlak. Then she'll be able to throw again. All right, kill Booyog Shek. Low HP. And also very, very dead. All right, let's Easily. move over here real quick. Now, Lazel, you're still sight. over here. Why don't you use a standard oh, melee attack? You'll have advantage. Kill Gribbo, who enslaved Bolo. 14 damage, done. We'll go after Tracker Tozad. Another dead goblin. Boy. Does that feel good? I wonder if I could use a bonus attack on anyone around me. Not quite. What about my lash attack? Yeah, Azak. He would like Yuri. that. Thankfully, they're all pretty squishy. A miss. Okay. Shadowheart. I want you to attack. Sure. Use your morning star. You've got so many spell slots to use, but you're doing fine. Five damage, not a lot, but I'll take it. All right, Edrahill, your turn. Another standard attack, but you'll have advantage, so it's okay. Only two HP left too. 13 damage, nice work. Okay, spiritual weapon for Shadowheart. Put it right over here by Torturer Spike. Nice work. Let's move up a little bit. Okay, your turn is done. Let's see, Karlak, you don't need to frenzy. And over here, Lazelle, move by an enemy. Edrahill, go attack someone. We could use Lacerate. Yeah, why not? It'll only hurt Spike, but not us. Bleeding and 12 damage. All right. We'll use our Great Weapon Master bonus attack. Again, I need to put that on my hot bar or I'm going to forget. All right, we're done. We missed, unfortunately. We had a very high chance to hit, but that's all right. So we've got three goblins left. One healed another one. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Four goblins left. Another devout. Here's Lookout Grush. An enemy has moved into reach. So we could use our reaction to strike him. We'll do it. 10 damage. Youch. Lazelle was hit for only three. Don't worry, Shadowheart. You've got it. All right. Shadowheart's weapon is going to hit Torturer Spike. Let's do that. Seven damage. Torturer Spike is dead. Blender turn now. Let's see. Lazelle. You'll move over here. You'll get your weapons later on. Use a ranged attack. Let's hit Grush. 12 damage. Done. Another ranged attack to go after Moozle. 10 damage. Also nearly dead. Alright, Lazel. Standard melee attack. That devout is dead. We have one more to go after. So we're going to use a menacing attack. 10 damage. Alright. Standard ranged attack. Everyone here is dead. We've killed them all. Like I said before, it's rather easy. We've got everything under control. I mean, we could push on, 
we could go to that chamber right by Guts's room. We might do that just before we leave. We haven't used much in terms of ability resources. I wonder if the Zentrum were still here. I doubt it. I took every smoked powder and fire wine barrel they sold over to the goblins. That all belongs to us now, which is great. I mean, I could use it for any number of battles. All gone. All right, let's head over into Guts's room. Then we'll use her key to move on. Yeah, we've got a key. Don't worry about it. There it is. There nice. are a lot of books in here. Well, she won't need them now. And here's a massive bodyguard. Only level four. Not a problem. Karlak, you know what you're going to do. Yeah, go on. Returning pike Easy. attack. Huh. Very simple. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Well, they're not too bad for me. All right, Lazel, move in. I want you to use a menacing attack. You're gonna have to jump in if you want to do that, unfortunately. So instead, we're just gonna use a ranged attack. A decent chance to hit, try it out. 18 damage. Really, really good. All right, you're out of die. Use a standard ranged attack. Our enemy's frightened. 11 damage, a very good start. But we're also able to use our cantrip. A miss. Okay, Karlak. Use your... Not your javelin, but your returning pike. There it is. Only 8 HP left. We're not done yet, are we? No, we are, unfortunately. Alright, there's Pulma. Throwing a stone at Lazel. Missing, too. Being frightened? Oh, works out in our favor. Hope your soul right. is in good Here hands. comes Edrahill. Full damage. The battle is over. That was easy. Supply pack, I'll take it. A padlock key. Way. Well, we weren't locked up, so we don't need that. It's over here in your gilded chest. Amulet of Misty Step. Whoa, that's really good. We could give it to maybe Shadowheart or Karlag. Shadowheart could use some better positioning. Yeah, we'll give it to her. Perfect. It's been a long day. All right. I need to rest soon. We've got a few scrolls over here. What else do we have? Some recipe, that. basic poison. There's probably a lot more in here. I'll just need to take my time to search every single crate, every single wooden desk, anything really. But now we've got a clear I path to, to get back to the grove. Let's go talk to Halson. And let's see, what else do we have over here? Oh, hold on, it's a much larger room than I thought. Look at that. We don't have to go there right away. We don't need to, not now. Well, here we go, a pouch, What's that? a gold ring, and also 50 gold. Wait, hold on. There's an iron gate over here. Let's look inside. I don't Let's like to leave way. any stones unturned. We've got cracked stones. I could break them, you know. Let's try it out. Oh, hello. All right, what we'll do, we'll use right now, here we go, a scroll of Featherfall. That way we'll be able to jump down and take no damage. Otherwise, that could be a pain. Down we go. They're all jumping. Oh, what a crazy area. I do see webs. There's bound to be some large spiders around somewhere. Ooh, a lot of eggs. I just want to break them all if I can. Every bit of them. All right, so we'll go over there to the right. Wait, hold on. We've got a few characters who aren't down here. There's bound to be a large spider over here somewhere. Yes, my desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. Well, I hate that. You should eat a goblin instead. They're delicious. Rolling for persuasion, a DC of only 10. Here's advantage from friends. Guidance 2. Let's roll. A 20. A nat 20. Good delicious. for us. Delicious. I do not know. The cruel and sharp. Yes. Bindable and wrappable and biteable. Yes. You must open the door. 
Yeah, sure. I don't want to fight them. They actually didn't kill that guy there. And they're not my sworn enemies. If I want to, I could come back later to kill them. Here's my hammer. Let's break open that gate. I've got it. Don't worry. I'll try again. There we go. Oh, I did forget. We've got a few guards over here that we need to watch out for. All right, group, move up. Karlak, I'd love to. You'll begin our attack. Use your returning pike. Path is interrupted. That's okay. Just move up a little bit more than it shouldn't be. Yeah, we've got it. Right over here, at least. One dead warrior. Okay, attack again. You know what you need to do. Come on. You've got it. Another dead goblin. Okay. Could you jump up? No, you need a bit more movement. So just come over here real Tactical. quick. Grab your pikes. I can be subtle Edrahil, you can Best move up for way. sure. All right, I'm not going to have you jump. You could use a misty step. Yeah, let's do that. Just move up. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Goodbye. Dead. Another dead goblin. All right. Now, who else do we have? Everyone else was seen, correct? My turn. What a shame. That's all right, though. That's okay. I can't move again. I can't do anything at the moment. Oh, how I wish I could. All right. In turn. Their turn now. Three goblins left. I didn't realize they had so many guards here. Only three damage to Karlak. A further three damage after that. Only six total. All right. Lazelle is moving up. We're going to use our Misty Step. Yeah, we'll move it. Let's see, not there, we can't. We need a bit more movement. Where could we go then? Up here for fun. Done. All right. Another dead tracker. Then a ranged attack. Come on, hit Grudge. Eight damage, not dead. And turn, Hedrill. Could you do anything? Could you, you can't jump over there. I wish you could. You try to use your crossbow. Have well, to keep going. run up for now. All right. Now use your crossbow. Or your crossbows. Perfect. Okay. And your turn now. Back over to Shadowheart. Let's move up. We could use a guiding bolt. Could we hit anyone? We hit you, Goblin. We could. Let's try it out. A miss, unfortunately. Oh, I don't like that. All right, so what else do we have over here? We could use our Misty Step just to teleport over here. Yeah, having that is really, really powerful. In turn, back over to Karlak. We'll get our returning pike. Over there. Move close by. Then again, throw that pike. Easy as. Yeah, tell me if you want me to continue using our current build because... Wow, it's devastating. All the goblins are dead. So we just need to pick up our javelin and go back to talk to Halson. Let's go talk to Zevlor too. I mean, his people, they're gonna be okay now. That's got to feel good, I think. A scout just reported. The goblins leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. No, thank you. You can keep your coin. Very good of you. Thank you. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave, but perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Yeah, sure. We'll see you there. Yeah, that's really good. We've done so well. Look at all the people we saved. We could have moved quickly, sure. There's bound to be some loot I could take. Do I really need it? Not really. I'll take it all, sure. 
We'll come back for it. Now, like I said before, let's go talk to Halston. Oh, there's some drama going on, which is to be expected. Let's have a conversation, a brief one. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, master. Well, that's a lot. You'll have your hands full with her. She shows great spirit, to put it mildly. She shows great insolence. But time will humble her. And the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Yeah, sure. What about my problem? I need help. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. Okay, sure. Healing can begin. We could talk Do to Kaga. But I think for right now, I would like to go on over to our camp. We've done so much. I guess we could pick up our payment. Not that we really need it, because we don't. There's still a lot of blood here. Not a fool. Oh a boy, friend. Kaga. You're still getting it, huh? You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No. Thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. Actually, it kind of was. For someone like me, it was pretty simple. Yeah. No, we're not going to be like that. Think nothing of it. I'm glad Halson is safe. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Where is the rune? My apologies. It seems to have been taken. Forgive me. I can only offer my gratitude and pray Sylvanus protects you on your journey. Well, thank you. Asterion might have something to do with that. Now, let's go back to camp. We're probably due for a long rest. It's been a long, long time since we've gotten to go to bed. We could talk to anyone here, but let's talk to Shadowheart first. That feels right, I think. She's right over here on her own. Just being calm. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? I could say me, but I don't want to be presumptuous. Do you mean the refugees? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Not so odd. We did the right thing. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? I would be glad to. We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Okay. I'll find you after everyone's turned in for the night. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. Oh, I know where that's going. Alright, we'll go talk to a few other people. Quickly, mind you. There's Carlac right over here. Another favorite of mine. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. Speaking of, from where I'm standing, it looks like you and Shadowheart are getting more familiar. She's a funny one. All pointy and secretive, but it seems like there's someone very sweet beneath it all, you know? Good to see the two of you getting along anyway. 
At least one of us is getting a little action. Though... You know... If you wanted to meet up later, maybe we could... meet up? Later? <sighs> oh, there's a lot here. Okay. I mean, we could go for it right now. We've got options. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I would like that, sure. Really? I mean... <clears throat> Great. I'll come find you when the others have gone to bed. Wait up for me, all right? Oh, she's excited. Yes. <laughs> it worked out for her. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if Edrahil's meant to be monogamous. We'll see in time. Oh, there's Ikarin. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Okay, interesting. You should join them. Have a pint or two. A DC of only five. He only needs a bit of prodding. He made it. A 20. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Good choice. All right, who's over here? I don't remember you, but I'll chat with you anyway. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Yeah, it's great news. All right. Let's continue to have a few more conversations. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to feed There's than you lot. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Well, hold on. That's cool, but what about the tankard floating behind me? That's terrifying. You know what? I'll clap. Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Yeah, that's a really fun group of friends. I like them a lot. I'm glad they're still here. All right, we've got Dennis and Bex over here. I need to dance. No, no, I need to lie down. Agreed. Hello, Dennis. Sherry. That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. Oh, okay. Well, Sherry, it is. I'll use it. Why not? All right, we could talk to Gail. I'm okay, though. Let's talk to Volo. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flayers? Why, I'm... Practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. I fought one of them. Here. On the Sword Coast. Impossible. Not only have I encountered a mind flayer, I've killed one. That... That can't be. Yeah. I was captured by mind flayers before. I'm lucky to be alive. You're mad! But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Yeah, I have. And the mind flayer infected me with a parasite. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Tell me more. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. 
If only your disbelief could alter facts. No, we'll say never mind. Hmm. You! Infected by a mind flare? <laughs> Ridiculous! Isn't it? No. You could examine me, find out yourself. No. I guess we could go for that. Yeah, why not? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. I'll take a seat. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! Okay. Uh, can you help? I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Well, good to know. All right, there we go. We've got our reward. And I'm not sure if Shadowheart will be fine with me having a liaison with, uh, you know, car. But I'll think about it. I might change my mind. I'll need to really think about it. All right, there's Halson. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Yeah, sure. We could invite him for a drink, but I know that I've got to tread carefully. Even if it seems friendly, it seems like any number of options could get you to bed someone. Suit yourself. Or I could say, take your own advice, why don't you? Go on, mingle a little. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Yeah, no kidding. And Zevlor. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without. But even so, thank you. Yeah, of course. All right, there's Mole, that kid over there, that thief. We'll talk to him too, why not? You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. Of course. I could say, now you owe me. <laughs> no. That sounded dangerously close to a compliment. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. Good to know. All right. I'm going to get out of here. Let's head back. I mean, it's normal to consider your romantic options. We're not really linked to anyone here just yet. Let's talk to Lazel. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. How torturous for us both that I'll never get a taste. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. A Starian looks particularly tempting. Hey, good for you. Do whatever you want, I don't mind. Alright, there's a Starian. We'll talk to him too. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. It's not that bad. Think of all the goblins you killed. Which is a very Edrahill response. True. That was fun. Still... I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna take his bottle and try the wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. 
All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Well, <laughs> not from me, okay? I'm gonna leave now. That's a no to fun, then? It is, yeah. Have fun somewhere else. I've got my options right now. I don't need more complications. That would be a lot. So let's talk to Zevlor. I did already. Huh. I suppose we could talk to Alfira. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Okay. I'm not much of a bard. <laughs> There's a lot of very interesting topics over here. Here's one from being a high half-elf. Maybe a song about my mixed heritage. It's a point of pride for me. Absolutely. With a foot in two worlds, you're the force joining both. You're going to love it. No, that's actually great. What a cool option. I do like that a lot. It might be time for bed now, or to call it a night for the party. There's been a lot going on, you know. We need to rest. And meet up with maybe How one about? or two people. Well, there she is. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Did you think I wouldn't show? Lots of people make promises. Few keep them. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Sure. To us. Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Well, that's a really hard question, sure. Let's persuade her. You first. Alright, a DC of 15. We'll use our advantage over here. Try it out. Oh, we just made it. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... They're lost to me right now. Interesting. Now, hold on. Wrong. You like night orchids and can't swim. You told me once. <laughs> I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Well, there it goes. What a good night, I'm sure of it. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. I could look into her eyes. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. What? <laughs> Alright. I mean, there's really one obvious choice here. Edrahil would tell her she's beautiful. I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Let's see here. I hope there will be more to come. But I'll say instead... My pleasure. It was just what I needed. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. The most important use of insight ever. And Edrahil is going to kiss her. That was bound to happen eventually. That didn't hurt, did it? What a question. No, far from it. Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. 
I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Finally, we're catching up on our puppet master. And the hunt ends at Moonrise Towers. Yeah, maybe so. Alright, what's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Oh well. Sounds like I've no choice. I need to find a way through. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Well, I do hope so. I've already found a way into the Underdark. I can pick up the trail from there, if I want to. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Yeah, that's great. Let's go then. May Sylvanas guide us. Do not be so impatient to move on as Halsin. As ever, the Githyanki Kresh remains our priority. I understand. We can certainly do that too. Thank you for watching everyone. In our next part, well, we've got to go to the Kresh. We've got to find the Night Song. Then eventually go to the Underdark. Which one should we do first? Do let me know. And also, for our party, I'm going to bring maybe Asterion and also Halson. Naturally, we are going to bring Shadowheart. We'll always bring Shadowheart. Don't forget to leave a like and comment right down below. And look forward to a new part very soon. As always, until then.